Listen to me. Something is wrong. Something is wrong with me. This movie, you guys, had me in such a roller coaster of emotions the entire time. It's not like your typical horror flick, though. So from your perspective, how would you describe this? <laughs> This has been so difficult. It's challenging to <laughs> yeah. describe because first and foremost, there are a lot of things that are spoilers about it because mm -hmm. the movie pretty quickly starts, makes sure that you're aware that what you're seeing is probably not the objective reality of the situation. And so it's really hard to describe beyond two cellists who came out of the same academy end up judging a competition together in Shanghai. And there's a lot between them. Yeah. Even though they have never met and um, well, there you go. Have they never met? Help me! Did you guys learn to play the cello for this? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you guys can actually play and... Can is an interesting yeah. word. The <laughs> present tense that you used there is sadly not the case. There's not an instrument coming out for you no. for us to perform right now. No, it is too challenging. And we had ambitions to be cellists for the mm -hmm. rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just going to become part of my life. I'd, you know, I'd have a, I'd check my cello when I went to the airport and I'd bring it everywhere with me. And um, sadly, that just did not happen. Yeah. And, and, and if anyone could do it, it would have been us. And we did not. So I guess yeah. it's impossible. Yeah. You know what you have to do? I feel like you're becoming this ultimate scream queen. Did you think <laughs> about that going into this, following this success? of Get Out. I think I'm the opposite of a scream queen um, in that I'm I'm not doing much of, I'm making other people <laughs> You're scream. making other people scream, um, yeah. What I thought about going into it from Get Out was just that Charlotte, my character in The Perfection, is so nicely a sort of picks up on and uses the associations people might have with me from Get Out and mm -hmm. in a way that I think works for the movie and is helpful to the movie. I knew that in some kind of meta way, if people are fans of the genre, they might have seen Get Out going into this, it would be helpful. It's not like I was just, I said, I only send me scripts that are psychological. I, it just happens to be because I think, like we both feel that you can get into more intense subject matter in a different way in this genre. And I think that was attractive to both of us when we read the script. Absolutely. Something is wrong with me! Lizzie, I know, that's why we need to get you help. I'm dying! There are some Don't. very steamy <laughs> scenes in this movie. Yes. And I always hear that sex scenes are the worst to film. Does that ring true here? What if no. we were both like, yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. this was like, I having done quite a few of them, it was great. It was a delight. It Honestly, was, it was the best, was, one of the best experiences I've ever had, especially when you want to talk about the technicalities of filming yeah. a scene like that. There was literally no one in that room who didn't need to be in there. And I think as actors, it, at least for me personally, it really allowed me to feel completely comfortable yeah. knowing no one's standing at a monitor and, I, and we could just be in that moment. Oh my God. What's happening? I don't know. Oh my God. Obviously there's themes of competition and jealousy and I feel like we very much live in a world and even this industry where women are constantly pitted against other women. What's the solution to that and have you guys experienced that? in Hollywood. Duets, that's what I would say. A duet is the solution to that's that. That's cool. There's not one solution to any problem. I think mm -hmm. that that's the way things are resolved is coming at them from different angles and everyone having great ideas because when everyone gets an opportunity to try to um, resolve something, you like think about the civil rights movement. You needed people who were protesting. You needed people who were, you know, lobbying. You needed people, you need lawyers. You need everyone from different angles. So when it comes to solving the this one issue, I think it's it's a matter of the duets and it's a matter of the choir. It's a matter of everyone being a part of the solution and not just women. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a matter of the men being in the room too. I love that. Well, on the flip side, there's also, you know, women empowerment is kind of a message in this movie in a sense. Can you guys speak to that and what you hope people will take away after they finish watching this? I think what you're seeing is just to hopefully um, reel in all of the strangest, weirdest, most imperfect ways, ironically given the title of the movie, people. And I think that the two our characters are people who are on their journey to figuring out who they are, what they want, um, who they are when no one's looking, and how to be that person when people are looking. Mm -hmm. And I think for anyone, that ends up being when you feel most empowered and most um, sort of I don't know. I, I self-actualized. I think it's it's a really hard place to get to, and it's a it's a lifelong pursuit. But I think we get to see the two of them on their way there, if not in some ways already arrived uh, at various points in the movie. I hope people feel really nauseated when they leave, and I hope you second guess your friends. And, <laughs> um, I hope you wonder, you know, if you're 
parents should have forced you to play that instrument growing up? Mm. Very different answers to one question. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I like both answers. I feel like this movie is gonna take off in the way that Bird Box did. Like it's gonna that would be, be great. massive. That's Are cool. you guys ready for that? Yeah. Yeah. We'll be here. Yeah, yeah we'll be in this exact hotel room. <laughs> yeah. Come find <laughs> us. The lights will go out, I'm sure, and we will just be sitting here with that behind us. And yeah. just we're ready. We're just ready. I'll we'll probably change, maybe shower a couple times we'll, before May 24th. That at least but, yeah. we could do. Yeah, that's uh, we'll we're ready. We'll be there. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> what the f Look at you, Lord.